Uh -huh, Romulo. Ah, how are you, teacher? Good, good. Good. Everything's going great. Have you ever been in another class? No. Yes, I was just in another class they, because I have the class before you. How many hours? Um, on Friday, usually I don't work at all because it's Friday. So usually Friday is my day off. But normally it's from 4 to 10, from 4 in the afternoon to 10 at night. Wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent, good. Yeah, except for Fridays. Fridays usually, I mean, except for, for now, right? But usually Friday, I don't do anything. <laughs> all wow. day all day sleep watch tv netflix videos movies whatever i want friday is like friday is like my sunday have you ever think uh you you will be teacher or no yes always always oh, really? yeah yeah since i was 17 18 uh, when i was when i was in high school i said hey i want to be a teacher <laughs> yeah, yeah okay uh-huh I like it. I like it. I, I, I liked it in I high like school it. because in high school we had um, tutorings. Tutorings? Tutorings, yes. Like tutor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in, and I was a tutor. I helped other students that had problems or they didn't understand. And I liked it. And I say, hey, this is a good job. I like this job. I like how I feel because always the, the, the other jobs, you make money. And always I make money and have other jobs. But in tutoring, is I, I like because it gives you a good feeling that, A, the person is learning because of what I did. Is I, they are improving because of me, because you can see it. And I was, uh, I, I, not in English, but I was in mathematics. My specialty was in mathematics. So uh -huh. I, and originally, that's what it was, was a math teacher. So my first year of teaching, um, <laughs> I, of teaching formally, my first year was actually a math teacher, and I helped high school students. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, it was, I always had three jobs that I wanted to do. One, I wanted to be a teacher. The other, I wanted to be a farmer. or And the other one, I wanted to be a firefighter. Firefighter, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm too skinny. I'm too skinny to be a firefighter. I, I have to do a lot of weight and may, it may be as possible, but it's, work out. Yeah. yeah, a lot, a lot. <laughs> this is one. And the farmer, you need, um, I think to be a good farmer, you need a big property. I don't have a big property. So I say, uh, okay. uh -huh. so I say, I'm going to be a teacher, but maybe when oh. I, re when I retire, I have a little farm. How much is your weight? Your, 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 Weight, weight body, weight, weight body, or my body weight. Be body weight, yeah. When I was younger, my body weight was one hundred and thirty pounds. It, I was one hundred and thirty-five until I was twenty-three. So oh. always, always very, very light. Now a day? No, now, no, now with the quarantine, I have no idea. Maybe one eighty. Oh. One. Uh-huh, 180, 190 maybe. Mm -hmm. I like the quarantine as a good life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, okay. pro the problem with the quarantine is no muscle. It's only fat. Only, only, only fat. Only fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Okay. I tried to to resolve the 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 middle term exam, but uh, I, I have a a doubt with the bold place word. What oh, is, uh huh. What, what did it mean? Uh, this uh. With which word? Which word is the one that you the one that you want, Romulo? And then um, I bold. Let, let me. Let bold me. face, right? Bold face. Bold, bold face. face means the words in in black. So if the word is in bold, the word is in black. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But uh, but uh, this uh, bold face. Uh, I, let me let me share my screen. Let me check. Uh, no, no I, I don't have available right now. But uh, 
What do you remember which part? I I can show the, the the second second part. Okay. The... Don't worry. When when we're going to look at the exam and then when we are there, then you ask me. When when I explain, then you say, Hey, this is the word. Okay. 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 All right. Perfect. All right. Jose, Patricia, how are you? Hi, teacher. I I'm very well, teacher. Very well? Yes. Good, good. Ready because today is Friday, huh? Yes, teacher. <laughs> I remember I have a class. <laughs> uh, yeah, but only this Friday. But it's, um, imagine already today, half the course. Half the yes. course. Only eight classes. Eight classes and we finished the year. And, yes, that's, teacher. and that's it. We finished the year. Hmm. Yes. And in, I have a question. Ajá, Patricia, yo, yo have a question. Patricia, did you have a question? Yes, teacher, please wait. Ah, okay, okay, no problem, no problem. My nephew is here. Okay, okay. <laughs> No problem. Jose, did you have any questions? Or Romulo, did you have any questions? Hi, teacher. No, uh, for for me, everything is it's fine. Okay. But I don't, I didn't, the, <laughs> the last exercise of the model, of the model three, or the section three. Ah, no problem. The reading. The reading, yeah. yeah. Uh, but what, because what, I, ha I, I didn't have time to today. No but problem. Tomorrow, I will. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the reading together and we'll check the midterm to make sure it's clear. Oh, perfect. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Romulo, only that only Teacher, question. I, I have a question uh, before. In the exam, the uh -huh. first question is the section one and one point eleven in listening exercise. Okay, one point eleven. Okay, let me take a look. And what is the question in one point eleven? Patricia? Is the 1.1. What is the typical problem the, the first person repair watches? Okay. And I, I, I can hear the, the audio is a new to a need to new body and i i great need to new body and what did you write patricia okay i think patricia <laughs> disappeared i don't know she had it sounded like she was having some kind of problem connection problems or something I think that too. Uh -huh. Because she, she's not here with, with us anymore. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, when she comes back, we'll answer her questions. All right. Well, let's get started then. In that case, we're going to finish up um, the. Yes? Yes. Uh, the, 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 the sentence said that, that uh, these glasses have a scratch on the lens. But I, I, I don't understand what, uh, 
how bold, bold face bold face words they are is this a a positive or 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 I don't understand the 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 meaning of the I I, I understand literal yes or this is like a result or uh, the the bold word right I again I again <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, go ahead, Romulo, go ahead. Yeah, uh, uh, I, under, <laughs> I understand the literal uh, translation, but... Uh, okay, let me share the screen and then you tell me where it is, all right? Let, okay. let, let's go through the screen then, all right. This will make it easier. <laughs> okay, so... Um, okay, so part A, in the midterm exam, we have several sections. Um, we have five different sections. In part A, it's a listening part. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the Finnish, yeah, yeah. Right, there are, two, okay. there are two parts for the listening. Um, yeah. The first part you listen and just have two questions. Um, the second part you're gonna listen and then you have four questions. Remember, it's a good idea to read the questions first before the listening. That'll help yes. you to make sure you understand, okay? I did, I did. Okay, all right, good. Now let's take a look at part two. Yeah. Okay. So part two, it says, is completing the sentences. It says there with a bold face word, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, right here. This, I think this is what you're asking about, right, Romulo? Yeah. Okay. Using another form of the bold face word. Okay. These glasses have scratches on the lens. They are? Okay. Very interesting because there are no words that are bold faced. Okay. Hang on. Let me take a picture and put into the to Jonathan and Elena and all of them, okay? Mm -hmm. That way can, they can get it, okay? Okay. But it's no syn synonym, teacher? No. No, no. okay. Just one moment. This is, uh, hang on. Uh, I tried, okay, pre-advanced. I'm writing that now because yes, it's difficult because there is no bold face, so you don't know which word to use since there is no indication. Yes, I try to remember what lesson that I, I, I remember that the, uh, the a video like uh, com 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 compare that word with another word, but I'm not remember what. I try. They are glasses. Scratch. Um, it's wrong. It's wrong. Wrong. See. Okay. Yeah, you're right. There is no nothing there. I, I already put to the. To the online facilitators, um, maybe Elena or somebody can can fix it, and hopefully they'll be able to do that. And then we can check it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That was the the question, right? For Romulo, uh, which word was the bold face word, right? Yes, it's the same question. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I it, it there are no bold face words, but really the Looking at the sentence, it would have to be the verb. So even though it's not, um, there is no bold face word there, uh, think about it like the verb because the verb is the only one that can be correct to complete the sentences. You can't have anything else for, for that part. Okay. All right. Patricia, we were going back to, to your question. Your question was what 1.11, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's take a look and then we'll come back to, to the midterm to make sure it's clear, the instructions and everything for everyone. Okay, 1.11. Okay, and what was, the, what was the question, Patricia? 1.11. 
1.1. What is the typical problem? Okay, 1.1. What is the typical problem? And what is the problem? Any, uh, uh, sorry, Patricia, what's the problem? Uh, I, I think here is the new butter, the patch. A new what? Butter, butter. Like a, a child's. Like a child. The, the watch. The first person is repair watches. Ah, okay, okay. So here, need a new battery. Yes. Sorry, one R. Okay, and you put this answer and the answer was wrong. Yes, teacher. No, look, the answer is correct. Uh. <laughs> Let me check, teacher. Is check your spelling because many times the mistake yes, is I need a no. new butter. In. Okay. So it's only remember, and that you don't have to write the entire sentence. Is only about putting in the correct answer. Good teacher. Okay. Thanks. Sure thing. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Sometimes it's is the, the spelling or a space or you never know. So don't worry. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let me finish up the idea for the uh, midterm exams so that it's clear and then we can go ahead and begin the following unit. So um, we already said part A uh, was the listening. Um, part B was completing the sentence for the unit. Remember there are two parts. So in part one, it says, uh, as Romulo asked, what is boldface? Boldface are words in black, but in here, um, reading the possible answers is only looking at the verb. So from the first part of the sentence, only uh, using another form of the verb. That's what, that's what they're asking you, okay? So when you do part B is look at the sentence and use the verb in another form. So these glasses have a scratch on the, on the lens. Oh, sorry, using the adjectives here because that my note car is dented. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at number one. I'll help you out with number one, okay? So these glasses have a scratch on the lens. They are? They, they are scratched. Exactly, that's all. And that's all you have to do. Mm -hmm. That's what they're asking you to do. Put in the verb or put in the, the words with in a different form. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And you've already seen the task. Uh, wasn't any of them. It's like um, when you have, for example, here, right? And then there's boom, there's a little like a little hole. Yeah. That would be dented. Dented. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay, so in this part, part B, one more time, all you do is just look in there and use the same descriptive word, use it in a different form to complete the sentence. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, all right. In part C, you need to read the phrase, read the sentences, and choose the best option to complete it, okay? So you're gonna read it and then choose which verb or which word is the best word to complete it. Uh, the same Excuse me, teacher. Uh, do you repeat the before parts? I can hear. In, in, uh, sorry. In part B, Patricia. Yes. Okay, let's take a look one more time. Part B, you are going to use the descriptive word that is in the sentence and you're going to write it in a different form to complete the next sentence. So that's why we say in the first one, the descriptive word is scratch. So yes. the sentences are? Mm 
we write the word scratch in a different form. That would be ed, scratched. Oh, scratch. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Then part Can C. You help, uh, with the uh, in just in, always in the in the part B, uh -huh. but the number number three. Okay, which is the description word? There is a, a small leak in the in the in the in the aquarium. Mm -hmm. it, for me, it's leaked. No, no past tense. There is. Remember, we have the verb to be. So, if there's a verb to be, how is the verb? Uh, leak, always leak. No, always when you have the verb to be. For example, uh, I am. He is. She is. How do we use the verbs? Oh, uh, it is, it is, no. Jose, what are you, Jose, what are you doing right now? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm at the class. Yeah, no. but what are you doing? Uh-huh. Um, I'm talking. Exactly. Uh-huh. Uh Keep going. I mean, G. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> There you go. Be always the verb to be is ings. That's right. Exactly. Okay. For the actions, um, the only time they are not ing is when it's uh, like a, a descriptive, like happy or sad. And some of these words have eds. But if it's an action, it's with ing. Ing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, part or letter C is we read and choose the correct word for part one. And in part two is the same idea. In part two, you read and choose which is the appropriate word to complete the sentences. So letter C is about vocabulary, making sure that you have the correct vocabulary and you just use the, the one that you think is correct to complete the sentence. And letter D, take your time and make sure you have it correct because this one is more about writing. So you have to read and choose one of those options that are there. So there are several different options. There are four that you see there in order to complete the different part of uh, one, two, and three. So one of those you probably won't use, okay? So it's not only putting that word, it's using it correctly. So it's not only end wasteful spending, it's using it with the infinitive phrase, okay? So you have to put it in in the correct form. That's the part for writing. And the same thing in part two. In part two, you look and uh, read the sentences and in here, you are going to complete them with a gerund using by and the gerund. This is how to solve the uh, problems or give a solution to a problem. That's the one that we practiced before. Okay, so use the, the answers that they give you there, but don't copy and paste. You have to change them to make sure they're in the correct tense. And the last part is just a reading. The last part is you read and with the information from the text, you answer if it's true or false of the six questions. Is that okay? Does anybody have any questions? No teacher, I, I, I will try to, to resolve. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no problem. But if, if you still have problems on Monday, then you let me know. But the idea is, is those, right? Okay. Okay. All right. Bessie, did you have any questions? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm going to start to answer this today. Okay. Because I didn't have time on the the no, nope. uh, the the platform or the exam? Oh, the platform, teacher. Ooh, ooh Bessie, ooh, Bessie. <laughs> I have a lot of homework. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have a very, very busy weekend, huh? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> but all this day I was hearing music in English, so. <laughs> oh. Okay, great. I hope I that... to practice. Yes, I hope you remember the, the, because we talked about many sections that in some section it was only like the answer, in others it was with the, uh, maybe it was a, a, a comma or something. So mm -hmm. um, rem 
just remember to try it in different forms. If you think the answer is correct, but it doesn't accept you in the correct answer in the computer, um, you know, try to use the complete sentence or try to use only the answer or things like that. That maybe that'll help you out. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Um, does anybody else have any other questions or, or anything about the midterm or any other units from one through three? Okay, that sounds Thanks. pretty good. All right, it sounds good. It sounds like everybody is, is ready for the weekend with a lot of activities to get done. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it takes, it takes a long time uh, in order for it to get every, yeah, yeah, that's all. It, it's just a matter of time. That's the most important thing. Okay. All right, so let's go on then to our new topic, our new unit. Okay, here we're taking a look at the intro to unit four. So let's watch the video and get our first introduction to this lesson. As on the other sections, we have an intro video for you. Please take notes if you feel you need to. Enjoy. Hello? Yes, Pat. I'm working on that right now. Uh-huh. Okay. By five o'clock. Yes, okay. Thanks. What's up, Carmen? You look really stressed out. It's his job, Hugo. I'm constantly under pressure. My muscles are tense. My neck is stiff. My stomach is in knots. I just... I, I can't seem to relax. Yeah, stress is a killer. Well, one thing you could do is get some exercise. It's a great way to relieve tension. I tried that. Did it help? It's a long story. First, I tried skating. I love skating. How'd it work out? It didn't. Well, I'll say. Then I tried dance lessons. Oh, I love dancing. Me too. And so does my husband, but... But? He was a little too enthusiastic. Uh-huh. Well, have you thought about taking a yoga class? <laughs> they say it's very relaxing. Yoga? Relaxing? Are you kidding me? You see this paper clip? Yes. This is what I'd look like after my yoga class. Ouch. There's always hypnotherapy. I've tried that too. Now, every time I hear the word ocean, it's supposed to relax me. Oh, and it works. The other day, I was in a meeting. Someone started talking about the environmental problems and the world's oceans. People said the word ocean so many times that I fell asleep. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That must have been embarrassing. Now half the office knows. <sighs> See what I mean? Need to get the hypnotherapy reversed. Or... I have an idea. You could try aromatherapy. What's that? It's like a massage, but they rub your skin with scented oils. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm allergic to perfume. Well, uh, it might be a good idea then for you to take some time off. Go on vacation. Rent a little house on the beach or something. You know, on the ocean. The ocean? Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll take a vacation. It's very relaxing. Lying on the beach, listening to the sounds of the ocean, ocean, ocean.
All right. So there's our introduction unit. Uh, the main example idea. is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> is to describe um, a services performed by someone, okay, using have or get. So really the idea is more about um, talking about things, things that you get done, okay? So for example, I have my hair cut or I get my hair cut or I, you know, uh, I have my car checked, okay? These are the ideas that we have. But really what we want to do before we get involved into the grammar is just take a moment and what do you do? Like we were, um, if you listen into the example, what do you do to relax? What do you do to calm down? Especially you saw her life was very stressful, right? Just, ah, she's throwing the papers and she's doing all of these things. So let's take a moment and talk with your partners. We're going to form two groups. And the idea is just talking about what you can do to relax and what do you do. Okay. So what can you do and what do you do when you feel too stressed, when you need to enjoy yourself? to begin, I want to remind you that in English we can say this, stay and find out. Yeah. yeah that's correct. Uh, it's, yeah, how often, how, how often you feel stressful? Every day. <laughs> Every day? On the end of the day. Yeah, okay. What what what, what will what, uh what would you do for the relaxing? Or I like to to I have to travel to travel or maybe to uh, to take a road on the way uh -huh. to my house. Mm -hmm. I like to hear music on the way and look at uh, the mountains because I go to Sonsonate. Oh, okay. And I love to to hear music. Yeah. But when you need uh, uh, like a uh, oh, oh what this is uh, every day, right? Yes, every day. But when the youth, uh, but what what do you do when when uh, you, uh, for example, you you have a free time or or vacation? I travel. That's I travel. love to travel. Yeah. Whatever place is okay, but not. <laughs> but try to do it. Outside or in, in, in into the country? In this moment, in in the country. Yeah. Okay. But in other situations, out of the country. Yeah. Uh, okay. Repeat. And what about you? What do you do? Ah. Uh. And I, I, uh, in, in the, I, in my normal week, I, I, I went to the gym yeah, uh, three times a week, and is a, uh, I think, uh, it's a, uh, help me to. This is truth. This is truth, teacher. This is no, probably relax, or, or relax. Yeah, yes, yeah. relax. Mm -hmm. Relax. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, another way that I, mm -hmm. there are seven pers there are seven seven people. You relax, mm -hmm. but you prefer to cook. I enjoy to be with my parents and my family, but when I I am alone, uh, I I think you can be uh, more more relaxed. And, and and not talk and don't think about <laughs> anything. 
right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Borrow in the in Boro case, I think it, it's good for me. No, not I, I'm not a lonely person, and I enjoy to be with with other people. It's, it's good. It's good. Um, and you? For me, is not like a cook. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when when I when we we uh, when I, at the beach, I prefer to to eat um, or I will uh, buy. As for, uh, as for, okay, that's good. I think maybe it's weird, but I enjoy and I feel this is stressful because I just kind of be all of my stuff when I I cook at dinner and when I clean my clean up my room or maybe watch the dishes because sometimes I put some music and I'm trying to not think about it, about nothing. But uh, there is a, there is uh, a, a, a moment when you got to 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 be disconnected with the stuff that make you feel bad and and and. And not a not a good time, I think. <laughs> yes, right. I I like I will I will to go to the go to the beach. Yeah, I like to relax and and I forget the problems. My for about my the problems. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy to 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 because there when you got a lot of time free a free time or vacation I think you get boring and 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 I and I I I enjoy to 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 be doing some something or or try to 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 make a good work right and sometimes when when I got a lot of free time, um, I miss my job. <laughs> and for this this time, I enjoy to have a free time because uh, for the for the for for the Christmas night and and the and the dinner of the the New Year, I, I enjoy to, to 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 talk with my friends. Maybe some yes. video call. And maybe uh, try not to ch just chat, and maybe uh, just call. And, and when I have time with my my family, I try to 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 play some games, right? And that's that's a good idea, I think. <laughs> Then this year will be different. Exactly. I think, or, or no. I think that I think that because we got to to try to be to take to be careful about all these stuff, right? Yes. Yes. In in my world, I don't have a, a party. In no, no, no. no. The, ce <laughs> the, celebration, the celebration, no. the celebration, the my my. I can hear teacher. Can you hear me now? Yes. Ah, great, great. Okay. So, great. Uh, I I heard you guys coming up with your ideas on how to relax. And, you know, a this year is going to be a little bit different because of the uh, 
uh, we don't we won't have those Christmas parties that you were mentioning and those things <laughs> like we normally do maybe the dinners or things like that okay. <laughs> Hey, Romulo, we have, there's Bessie, all right, so perfect. So we're taking a look at how we relax, how you take it easy, okay? So for you, what is the, one of your favorite things to do to relax? What do you like to do? For me, teachers do, do exercise. Oh, okay. Yeah. And do you go to the gym, Romulo, or do you do exercise in your home? Uh, no, I, 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 I go to the gym. And you're in the gym, you, you feel safe? You don't say, nah, I'm going to get COVID or something? <laughs> it's no, finished it's... the quarantine. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, in quarantine, I, I, I go out to, to, to run. Uh, near to my neighborhood, right? Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> So it's good. It's, it's good that you maintain doing exercise and all of these things. Yeah. All right. And what about you, Jose? What do you do to relax? What's your favorite thing to do? Um, I think when I, I am doing a cleanup in, in, in my room or my home, I feel, I feel relaxed because I, I don't think in any, anything else. And not problem, no job, not uh, nothing is that uh, is your stress, right? That's the. And, uh, I think in in that moment. Okay. All right. So you really enjoy doing that. Yes, and I feel uh, satisfied. Satisfied. And when did you start doing that? When? When did you start to? You know, when you say, ah, this is, for me, this is the best. This is the way that I like to relax. Oh, um, maybe when I get my, my clothes uh, in my closet, mm -hmm. into my closet, when I, because I clean, my, I feel my clothes uh, clean, and I try to clean up the closet and, and maybe some music <laughs> and I feel relaxed. Do you, are you like those people like in the videos that they're cleaning and they're doing, but they're dancing and they're, hey, hey, hey. And they're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I am um, one oh. of the, that person. Yeah, <laughs> they look so... I think. They look so happy cleaning, and I think, oh my God, I hate cleaning. But they, no. but, but they look so happy. They are cooking, they are cleaning, they are doing, and with the music going. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, I, I, it's good and satisfying, and, and and maybe sometimes I enjoy it. Okay, all right, all right. What about you, Bessie? What's the your favorite thing to do to relax? Uh, well, I was telling Romulo that I like to travel. And when I have to go to the work, I t uh, I put music and I like to hear music and sing too. That's the way I try to relax in like, the office too. In this moment that I am alone, because uh, we are uh, trying to be one person per, per day. Mm -hmm. And then um, like today, I put music in and, and I, I try to relax and make my work. All right, so singing, working, just dun, 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 dun. that's good. Yeah. What kind, what kind of music do you like, Bessie? And sometimes dance. <laughs> <laughs> like Jose, like Jose, right? Except for, yeah. except for your case, working, all right. <laughs> okay. Yes. And what's your favorite type of music to listen to, Bessie? Salsa. Salsa, ah, there you go with some rhythm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. And you, Patricia, what do you like to do? What's the favorite thing to relax? Well, I, I would love to go to the beach, but um, because of the virus, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I stay at home, 
um, I watch, I don't watch series. Otherwise, the Romulo. I don't like the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Romulo, you go running. I watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good, good. That's the idea. We're going to be seeing a couple of things um, in this unit regarding that. Also, having things done or getting things done. Um, for that, uh, I'm going to share my screen with you so you have an idea what I'm talking about. Here is the idea for the next part for 4.1, which is have or get something done. Okay. We use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. So that means not that you do. It's something that someone does for you, okay? So you can have your haircut or you get your haircut, okay? Now there are two different forms. The important is the active and the passive. The active, always we, the same thing as always, we focus with the person, uh, somebody, someone, uh, or the person's name. And the passive, always we focus on the object. What is getting fixed? What is being repaired? What is, what are you getting uh, done, okay? So let's watch the small video and then I'll answer some questions if you have any. Okay. Hello, ready to begin? I want to remind you that in English we can say the same idea in another way. Does active and passive voice ring a bell? Stay and find out. Page 59, exercise 3, grammar focus, have or get something done. Use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? You can have Hazel's Personal Services fix your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Passive. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's Personal Services. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. I know this is not new for you. Active and passive, remember? We have told you that in English we may say the same sentence in another way. This time we will learn how to use active and passive using have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. As always, let's work on active first. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. We're using have plus someone plus base form of the verb. Let's type an example using it. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Get plus someone plus infinitive verb. Moving on, we have passive. You can have or get your bike fixed. It's optional to write at or buy a shop. Have or get plus object plus past participles is optional to use at or by. I want you to work in class. I want you to talk about two things you want to have done. Remember, you may type your answers on our discussion box. A service performed for you by someone else. Your shop. Okay. I know this is not new for you. Active and passive, remember? We have told you that in English. Okay. Well, the big deal is in English, we may say the between. same sentence in another way. This time we will learn how to use active and passive have using or, have. Here we have have or get. We use it to describe a service, okay? So there's two different ways. You can use have or you can use get. But it's Mr. I can I can Let me try again. Mm -hmm. I hear the video, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Sometimes technical issues. All right. So, sorry. I was saying that we use uh, have or get in both forms. We can use it in the active or in the passive. Um, here is the main reason that we use this is to describe something that is done, okay? Um, like an action, something, sometimes maybe a repair or something around your house or just a service that is completed. 
when we talk about active, we are always thinking about the person, okay? I have a Miguel fix my car. I have the, 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 the mechanic, um, you know, uh, put in a new uh, engine, okay? This is always where you can have or get this thing done, okay? This is the active. That's the active because we always focus on who's doing the action, right? But when we're thinking about the passive, okay, also you can, using the same meaning for get, okay? So get is going to be the same meaning as have. Now in the passive, you can have or get your byte fixed, okay? At it or um, by so-and-so, okay? So you can have the, the house. I can have my house painted, okay? Now I'm focusing on the, I'm not focusing on who, right? But if I have the active, I say, oh, I am going to have the, the mechanic or I'm going to have the, the mason paint my house. So okay. the, the only difference that we're really thinking about when we're looking at it, it's very similar in context. Only the difference is if you put first the person or if you first put first the object. If you put first the person, that it's an active. If you put first the object, then it's a passive. So do you focus with, uh, for example, I don't know who Daniel is. So maybe it's not necessary to put Daniel. It's only necessary to put, oh, I'm going to have um, my refrigerator fixed by Daniel if I wanted to include him. But it's not necessary. I'm going to have Daniel fix my refrigerator. It's the same meaning, only that the difference is we focus on the person or we focus on the object. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Okay, so in, I know some of you are thinking, oh, well, what's, what's really the difference? No, nothing, it's just a matter of choice. You can use the word have or you can use the word get. It's really just a selection of what do you prefer? Which one do you, do you like more, okay? And the same thing for- In, in both are option, teacher. In both in are- active or passive. Or, okay. Yes, yes, yes. In both of them, they're optional. So you can decide which one you want to use. And you decide if you want to focus on the topic, on the thing, or if you want to po uh, notice the, the person who did it. Okay. That's, that's really the main idea. Now, I don't want to, for us to do too much because then you're going to get confused with your midterm and you'll have the midterm this weekend. So the idea is better little by little and then we'll talk about it. So in, instead of getting to do too many of it, we're, we're going to practice some of the passive and active with having get on Monday. But uh, what are your plans for this weekend? What are you going to do uh, tomorrow or what, because I was going to say tomorrow is uh, not Friday because normally it's on Thursday, but no, tomorrow, Saturday or Sunday. So what are you going to do this weekend? I have some plans. I have to work tomorrow morning. Then I have to do the homework of English. And I have to go to the mechanic to fix some things on my car. And on Sunday, I'm going to chair in the church. Do you, and do you go to church? Do you, do you participate in church, Bessie? Do you sing or do something? Um, not this Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, sounds like Saturday, very busy. And Sunday, finally, you can relax. Yes. <laughs> All right, good. Romulo, what about you? Uh, tomorrow, I will, I, uh, I will do different errands to the bank and, and some, um, I, 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 I will with my little son to the class, the swimming class. Yeah, uh, different errands on, uh, during the day, and then uh, and Sunday I will go to the church. Yeah, and relax day. Yeah, watching movies, 
and I spend my time with my, my, my family. All right, good, good. Um, Patricia, what about you? And tomorrow I'll have to, to prepare prepa, the, the decoration for, for dinner because my, my nephew is is Virda, is uh -huh. correct? And so, so you can say it's, it's his birthday or you can say his he, birthday, his birthday. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Yes. In the Sunday is relax. <laughs> okay, all right. And for you, Jose? For me, uh, tomorrow I have to work just for the morning and at the afternoon, maybe I have to call some friends and get ready for our Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. Oh, nice. Very early, no? <laughs> no, no. But it's not will be tomorrow. It's just, just, just to organize the dinner. Yeah, the but that, yeah, but very early. Well, oh, no, not so early. Maybe like uh huh. A couple of weeks. Is you have to get early? everything. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> the time has to really come. That's true. That's true. Well, I hope everyone has a great weekend. I hope you finish the, the midterm and the lessons one and two to make sure that everything is complete. Um, remember to finish up the other lessons and then and lesson three as well. And then on Monday, we're going to continue with lesson four. Okay. All right. Okay. Have a good have weekend. A night. Have a nice have weekend. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.